come in this video that is the monomeric enzymes friends as you know that the enzymes are made up of proteins these proteins may be of a single polypeptide chain or of a multiple polypeptide chains so such protein which contains single polypeptide are called as monomeric proteins and those enzymes which have a single polypeptide chain thus called as monomeric enzyme it means that they cannot further dissociated into smaller fragments or smaller units to the time very few enzymes are known and all of these catalyze particularly hydrolytic reactions hydrolytic reactions are those reactions in which a bond is broken by the use of molecule of water if we observe the number of amino acids in these enzymes or if we see the molecular weight of these enzymes we will find that the number of amino acids in these enzymes ranges from 100 to 300 amino acid residues and the molecular weight is often in between 130 to 350 kilodalton the molecular weight generally determined by the polyectromyl gel electrophoresis method generally the monomeric enzymes does not require metal ion but some enzymes like carboxypeptase a which is associated with the zinc ion requires metal ion this carboxypeptase a can cleave all amino acid except arginine and lysine of the protein chain friends most of the monomeric enzymes are proteases or proteolytic enzymes that is they catalyze the hydrolysis of a peptide bonds in other proteins these enzymes are often synthesized in the form of proenzyme or zymogen proenzymes are the form of enzymes which are synthesized in our body in inactive form and which is further activated by cellular activities or autocatalysis with the help of external factors why these enzymes are synthesized in the form of zymogen or proenzyme this is because in order to prevent cellular damage to all cellular proteins which are present in our body if these proteins or these enzymes are synthesized in active form they may use the cellular proteins that means the components of cells as their substrates so they get activated once their actual substrate reach in their contact that means the dietary proteins reach in their contact generally the serine proteases are the monomeric enzymes these proteases are called as serine proteases because of the presence of serine residue in their active site as an essential component there are number of serine proteases among which chymotrypsin, trypsin and elastase which are produced in the inactive form by the mammalian pancreas are most important these enzymes form a closely related group of enzymes although only about 40% of the primary structure is common to all these enzymes. Most of the catalytically important amino acid residues correspond exactly when the tertiary structure of these all three enzymes are determined by X-ray crystallography. It is observed that they are very similar in their tertiary structure. When the reaction mechanism of all these enzymes are studied, it is found that they are believed to function by identical mechanism. All these enzymes show a similar pH optimum of about pH 8. All are interopeptidases, that means hydrolyzing peptide bonds in the middle of polypeptide chains, but their specificities are different, their targets are different. For example, chymotrypsin, which has a large hydrophobic binding pocket, which will bind phenylalanine, tryptophan and tyrosine side chains enabling cleavage of the peptide bonds at the carboxylic side of one of these residues. In case of trypsin, aspartate replaces serine at the bottom of the binding pocket giving this enzyme a specificity for cleaving bonds adjacent to amino acid residues with a basic side chains that is lysine or arginine at the C terminal. In the case of elastase, two glycine residues at the mouth 
of the binding pocket in chymotrypsin or trypsin are replaced by valine and threonine. Those bulky side chains block the pocket and result in the enzyme specificity cleaving bonds adjacent to the residues with small nonpolar side chains like a glycine, alanine and valine at a C terminal. So in this way their specificities are different though their tertiary structure is very similar. So now we will see few examples of this monomeric enzymes in detail. First chymotrypsin. Chymotrypsin as we have learned is synthesized in the pancreas as the zymogen. The zymogen of the chymotrypsin is known by the name chymotrypsinogen or pre chymotrypsin. This chymotrypsinogen is a single polypeptide chain of 245 residues containing 5 intrachain disulfide bridges or 5 intrachain disulfide bonds. This is first, second, third, fourth, fifth. The first disulfide bond is been between amino acid 42 and amino acid 58. Second is in between amino acid first and amino acid 122. Third is in between amino acid 136 and amino acid 202. The fourth disulfide bridge is in between amino acid 168 and amino acid 182. And the fifth disulfide bond is in between 191 and amino acid 220. As you know, the disulfide bonds are formed by the cysteine residues. When the skymotrypsinogen passing into the intestine, a proteolytic enzyme are required to digest dietary proteins. Chymotrypsinogen is attacked by trypsin. When chymotrypsinogen passing into the intestine, where proteolytic enzymes are required to digest dietary proteins, chymotrypsinogen is attacked by trypsin. This breaks the peptide bond between arginine 15 and isoleucine 16, which produces two polypeptide chains which are linked by disulfide bond between the amino acid 1 and amino acid 122. Now, this enzyme is called as pycimotrypsin. This molecule has a full enzyme activity, but further changes are taking place in their structure. A dipeptide means two amino acids are removed from the short chain of this pycimotrypsin that means amino acid number 14 and 15 is removed from the short chain this pycimotrypsin and the structure which is now formed is called as delta chymotrypsin. The delta chymotrypsin further undergoes digestion by chymotrypsin, digestion by earlier synthesized chymotrypsin, which removes a dipeptide from position number 147 and position number 148 to give the final product, which is called as alpha chymotrypsin. This alpha chymotrypsin has a full activity, and this alpha chymotrypsin hydrolyzes the peptide bond at the carboxylic terminal of phenylalanine, tryptophan and tyrosine amino acid residues. Chymotrypsin contains three polypeptide chains linked by disulfide bridges. So it is not strictly a monomeric enzyme but the sequential numbering system of the original chymotrypsinogen molecule is usually maintained. That's why this enzyme is considered as a monomeric enzyme. In contrast to chymotrypsin, trypsin is a genuine monomeric enzyme. Trypsinogen lacks 9 amino acid residues at the end terminal by comparison with chymotrypsinogen. So it cannot form the disulfide bond bridge between amino acid 1 and 122 amino acid residue of the polypeptide chain. The action of interpeptides or trypsin itself in the intestine removes a hexapeptide from the N terminus of a trypsinogen to produce the active trypsin which is equivalent to the main chain of a pi chymotrypsin and has the same N and C termini. This trypsin hydrolyzed polypeptide bond at the C terminal of arginine and lysine which are basic amino acids. Elastase is a similarly produced form 
its corresponding zymogen proelastase by the action of trypsin and it leaves polypeptide chain at the C terminal side of small amino acid residues like alanine and glycine and valine it also hydrolyzes the amides and esters the similar primary structure and almost identical tertiary structure of these enzymes suggest that they are evolved from a common ancestor by divergent evolution the gene for the ancestral enzyme may have been duplicated several times enabling different mutations mutations are the accidental changes of a base sequence in the duplicated genes to result in the production of a slightly different enzymes serine proteases involved in blood clotting for example thrombin and some bacterial serine proteases for example staphylococcus gracias may also have evolved from this common ancestor since their structure are similar to those of the enzymes from mammalian pancreas in contrast other bacterial serine proteases for example subclusin from bacillus amylocubicans have a very different primary and tertiary structure from those of mammalian serine proteases however the active site structures and the mechanism of action of all these enzymes are almost identical this may suggest convergent evolution that is the acquisition of similar characteristics from different starting materials by independent evolutionary pathway there are some other monomeric enzymes than the serine proteases for example pepsin a like the pancreatic serine proteases this enzyme plays a role in the digestion of proteins eaten by mammals these enzymes are called as acid proteases because it functions at the low ph values found in the stomach peptide fragments are removed from the inactive form pepsinogen by the action of acid or other pepsin molecules to produce the active enzyme pepsin this enzyme has a preference for cleaving bonds with a non polar amino acid residues on either side that means it can hydrolyze the peptide bond at both side of a leucine phenylalanine tryptophan and tyrosine and it also hydrolyzes the ester another acid protease which is found in the stomach is a chymosin or which is often referred as a renin other acid proteases are found in microorganism a group of thiol proteases similar in structure to each other are found in plants these include papain pectin and many different enzymes the papain is obtained from papaya fruit which is often used in meat tenderization by enzymatic method from ancient period similar enzyme pectin or pectin which is obtained from the fig is also an example of thiol proteases other thiol proteases of a different structure are found in bacteria and mammalian lysozymes the essential cysteine residue in each of these enzymes plays a similar role to that of the serine in the serine proteases several exopeptides which removes terminal amino acid residue from the polypeptide chains are also well known for example bovine pancreatic carboxypeptidase a it is a monomeric enzyme containing one zinc ion per molecule it breaks polypeptide bond at a c terminal of all amino acid except arginine proline and lysine as well as hydroxyproline it preferably cleaves aromatic or branch chain amino acids it is produced when trypsin removes peptide fragments from the zymogen pro carboxypeptidase a a very similar enzyme that is carboxypeptidase b which has specificity for c terminal amino acid with a basic side chain is also secreted as a zymogen by bovine pancreas so carboxypeptidase b cleaves amino acid arginine lysine and ornithine not all monomeric enzymes acts on a proteins there are some well known ones which hydrolyze other substrates which include ribonuclease ribonuclease cleaves the phosphodiester bond of the ribonucleic acid between base a and base b the base a is often cytosine or uracil 
the other example is lysozyme which cleaves the glycosidic bond of a peptidoglycan chain between the n acetyl muramic acid and n acetyl glucosamine so all these are the examples of a monomeric enzymes which are synthesized in our body or in other organisms and have major role in digestion thank you